Today, we're looking at these promises of Christmas as we're going to have all these videos. And today it's going to be on Sarah's promise. Now, when this promise was given to Abraham, obviously it was given to Abraham and Sarah. But there's just a little aspect about Sarah's involvement in this, which brings out this promise of Christmas. So first, I just want to read these few verses. And it's Genesis 21 verses 10 to 12. And we'll take it apart. So Genesis chapter 21 verse 10. And then Sarah said to Abraham, get rid of that slave woman and her son, for that woman's son will never share in the inheritance with my son Isaac. Now, the matter distressed Abraham greatly because it concerned his son. But God said to him, do not be so distressed about the boy and your slave woman. Listen to whatever Sarah tells you, because it is through Isaac that your offspring will be reckoned. Right. So in Romans 9 and Galatians 4, we start to see what Sarah's talking about, what's really going on. And this is the first point. So Ishmael is Abraham's firstborn. That Deuteronomy 21 just mentions that Ishmael is Abraham's firstborn. Who Hagar is doesn't actually matter. And this is also why Hagar and Ishmael are personally looked after by the Lord himself. If you read on in that story or read previously in chapter, I think, 17 or 18, Hagar gets some incredible meetings with God who looks after her personally. But this promise, Eve's promise of the Christmas child was given to Sarah. And this is an important point about Sarah's great understanding that Paul brings out in his letters. This promised Christmas, it wasn't about being the son of somebody. It was bigger than that. Christmas wasn't a human achievement. Sarah was promised by the Lord himself that this seed, this child, would be given to her. And then notice also that in this story, Abraham and Sarah are too old to have children. So when the Lord gives this promised child back in Genesis 17, he's, he's giving it to them knowing they can't imagine how this is going to happen. They can't do it. And so what happens with Ishmael and really that's them trying to make a savior, trying to make Christmas happen. But that wasn't right. No, this Isaac, who was born to Sarah, he wasn't a product of human power or ingenuity. And that was just as Eve's child or Mary's child, Jesus Christ, he would not be from us. We wouldn't make him. We can't plan him. No, the Lord himself will be given to us. We can't make him. Or more simply, Jesus is a present that Sarah was given personally, a promise to her, which Sarah trusted the Lord would be true to. The promise of Christmas was one of faith and trust in the Lord in a gift. Jesus or this Christmas, God being born is not something we do, not something that we made happen, but it's something that we trust in, just as Sarah trusted in this gift of Christmas. 